Hero Makeup. Oh. Okay, you're out. Come on. Just want to interrupt this video filming with Earl Pearl, who just knocked over a bunch of shit in my makeup room, so he's now getting. You're getting banned, Earl. You're getting banned. This is our kitty. Oh, I love him so much. He like doesn't give a shit about anything or anyone. He's just his own cat. I mean, that's what cats are. Like, <laughs> if you didn't know. But anyway, okay, buddy, time to leave the makeup. Look at this little chunker. Chunk, chunk. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a makeup challenge video. I've never filmed one of these videos. I can't believe it, but I remember maybe a few years ago, they were all the rage. Like people were doing no hands makeup and using your, you know, non-dominant hand to do makeup. People were doing makeup blindfolded. People were contouring with knives. Like, shit was getting uh, crazy here on YouTube. And so I never really got into it, but I did watch Samantha March's, one of her newer videos, and it was called the Hero Makeup Challenge, and it was inspired by Michelle. And so she tagged me in it, and I was like, cool, that'll be fun, I should try it out. So. I gathered up all my things and I'm ready to do this. I'm very excited because there's a lot of product that you guys probably didn't even know I own, just stuff that I used to love that hasn't been touched in a while. So this is gonna be a little bit more of a, just you and me hanging out, putting on makeup. It's not really like me trying to show you a palette or you know how something's gonna perform on my eyes or if it's gonna work on tan skin, even though I guess you could reap those same benefits from this video and if you are a content creator I think you guys should do this video as well because it's gonna get you kind of out of your comfort zone or at least me out of mine so my understanding from watching Samantha's video is that you just pick a product in your collection that this brand is known for so I kind of cheated and copied her because I don't actually do primer ever if you guys know this about me if you watch my channel you would know this about me but yeah I do have the primerizer I use this in the winter usually when my skin is like really really dry but it's basically like a overhype lotion it's very runny I would never pay a full price for this product but I bought it when it was on sale and it was very hyped I think Andrea Matiliano really likes the primerizer, so that's why I bought it, and I bought it on sale. And so, I like it, it's there, I'm gonna use it up, but I don't really own any other primer. I bought the Milk primer, the Hydro primer or whatever. I thought it was okay, I ended up decluttering it because I didn't really like that primer, like that I would keep using it over and over again. So, once I use the Smashbox one up, I don't think I'm gonna have any primer. Although I did just buy the Pat McGrath primer, so I will have that in my collection as well when that package comes. So it's a little bit, you know, hydrating. I can feel like the plumpness, plump, plumpness in my skin. I don't really have any other makeup on because I just basically rolled out of bed. So I should probably put some eye cream on. I need to use this up. This is the Tatcha Pearl um, eye cream. This was so hyped when it launched um, and I think Mel Thompson actually convinced me to buy this. This is not one of my hero products. Um, I do have Tatcha in here. Can you guess for which product that might be? <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna put some eye cream on just because I always need hydration on my skin. Okay, so I usually do eyes first, so that's what I'm gonna do. I even picked out a brush for my primer, so this is again not a hero product. I just use this, I mean, I guess I don't really see myself buying anything else for Makeup Revolution anytime soon because I'm personally just not a fan of the brand. Um, I really wanted to try the avocado palette, but I hummed and hawed about it so much that it sold out by the time I even decided to just go ahead with it. My So my face is all primed and ready to go, and now we're gonna get to eyes, because I always do my eyes first, even when I'm doing makeup every day, and for me, for eyes, you guys know I love so many eyeshadow palettes, it's so hard for me to like really narrow it down but I decided to go with Pat McGrath because honestly like this lady like 
seriously fuck shit up for me when she first launched these palettes. I didn't even know what I was missing in life until I found these guys and they're so beautiful and I decided to go with the Mothership. This is like the purple one. I think this is Mothership 3. It doesn't actually say on the packaging so I don't know and I just put like purple on here just so I knew what was in here. And this is actually the palette I gave Angelica. I gave her the same color story and I don't think I've ever actually done a look on my channel with my first Pat McGrath palettes. So I thought it would be fun to feature this in a video for you guys just so you know how I use these palettes. I've been thinking of doing a series where I do a look with each palette and just kind of, you know, make it a little fun video for you guys in case you've been wondering if I still like these palettes or not. And of course I haven't used this in forever because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. It's a struggle really. So I'm just going into this brown shade. It's a matte brown with the Wayne Goss number 16 brush. I love these Wayne Goss brushes so much. I literally want to buy a backup set of his eye brushes because this number 16 brush is so fluffy and nice. And I really want to put money into my brushes. I feel like I have so many eyeshadow palettes, but honestly, the eyeshadow brushes make such a difference in your makeup game. So I am definitely curious to see if there's some brushes I can bring into my collection that's going to like help me become an even better like makeup, not artist, but like person that does makeup. So there is the, the big con with the first three Pat McGrath palettes that she came out with was there was a repeating black shade, I believe in almost all of the palettes. And then there wasn't a whole lot of like fun matte shades. So uh, the only matte shades are the black and this brown. So that's really all I can use for a crease shade. Um, but that's okay. I don't usually go this dark in the crease uh, to start off with, but it's not going to hurt me, so I'm fine with it. So I just basically blended that brown shade into my lid, and now I'm going to grab the Sonia G Crease Pro. This is a smaller brush, and I'm just going to go into that black, and I'm just going to tap that into the outer corner just to deepen things up. And then I'm just going to tap and then blend it into the brown shadow. So yeah, I just feel like, you know, this is one of her first products that she came out with was the eyeshadow palettes. And I remember buying them and like thinking like, I don't even know who this lady is. Like what's, you know, these palettes are so expensive. I definitely made this, a, this was like a credit card purchase. It was not like... I had like $400 just chilling in my bank account, um, so it was a big expense for me. I have zero regrets <laughs> buying this palette. Honestly, it was it's so beautiful, and they're just such a special occasion. Like really, if you want to treat yourself, these are really, really nice. So. Um, my crease is done. I think I'm just going to keep it like that. And then I like to use glitter glue with these shadows. So I decided to buy these little, I don't know what they're called, like these little foamy sponge thingies on Amazon because glitter glue really wrecks your brushes. So I like to use these sponge applicators and I love the Too Faced glitter glue. This is like a hero product for me with Too Faced. I don't really like a whole lot of their products but this glitter glue is legit. It's not like too sticky. It's um, you know it doesn't dry too fast but it like st like hangs on to the product so well and it's just a wonderful um, glue and I'm so happy that I like listen to the internet and picked it up because it is that good. So I want to try this. Per I want to do a purple green. So I think I'm going to do green first. And you guys are going to see how pigmented these shadows are. Oh, so beautiful. And I do one eye at a time because of the glue. And then I'm just going to do purple on the other side of this paddle. Oh my god, that's such a beautiful color. It's 
like a blurple, as Amy Loves Makeup likes to refer to it. <laughs> That is so pretty. Uh-oh. Might need some eyeshadow help here. I accidentally got some green on there. Dang it. I mean some purple on there. I guess I can be part of the look. This is crazy. These shadows are so beautiful. The only thing about the spongies is that it's like really hard to blend, but I really like that. I accidentally got some blue on the inner corner of my eye. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's okay. And there's like no fixing it. It's just going to stay like that. So we're just going to leave it. And now I'm going to do the other eyes. So I'm going to grab again some glitter glue. And I can't wait for Pat McGrath to do complexion products. Oh my god. I just can't wait for her to do bronzers and blush. And I she has the highlighter palette, but I cannot wait for her to do like blush. Uh, I hope she does glowy blushes. I am so about that glowy blush life. So again, I'm just stamping this color onto the one half of my lid and then the green. Okay, so there is the eye look, and I just want to go in with the Sonia G and just clean up the blend here because I definitely got some glitter up in the crease. But this is a very like disco tech look. I don't know what to call it. It's time to do some face makeup. So, for my Hero Foundation, I decided to grab the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation, and I wear the shade 370. This foundation, I feel like, is Fenty's Hero product because this is the one that they kind of launched first, this product, and everyone was, like, going nuts for it because, um... She was like the first line to come out with this many shades and everyone was so excited because Rihanna's a person of color and they thought, hey, you know, she's going to really fuck shit up, which she did. I think she did an amazing job. I really like this foundation. Even though I have dry skin, I love a good like matte foundation, um, especially in the summertime. I love wearing this and it's so nice and I don't think it's like overly full coverage but I can definitely get full coverage out of this and it just makes my skin look great. I actually even wear this in the winter because I just like how long wearing it is and I would definitely repurchase this. I'm about halfway through my bottle of Fenty and I don't know I try not to buy too many foundations because I like what I like and you know I buy so much makeup I definitely give priority to eyeshadow palettes um, so I don't really try a whole lot of foundations in the year but this is definitely one of my all-time favorite foundations this one NARS um, sheer glow has been a long long time favorite I thought of making that one um, the hero product for foundation for me but I feel like honestly like there's not a better known product for NARS than Orgasm, and I don't wear that blush anymore. I used to. I used to own it, and I liked it a lot, uh, but my makeup tastes have changed, and so I can see myself telling you guys that, you know, oh, I love 
orgasm blush, but I really like this foundation. So if you're my skin tone and you're wondering what shade it is, it's 370. And then for concealer, this is an oldie, but a goodie. I just picked this up because I saw my friend Vanessa use this on her YouTube channel, Hot Mess Ness. And I was like, oh my God, that's such a good concealer. And it's drugstore. And so I was just like really pumped. And I honestly like this applicator is not like good for san sanitation purposes, but I like it. It's so soft and the sponge and I'm like, heck yeah, like easy for me to like see I can just draw my concealer on and the coverage is good and it's not cakey and so I really have been enjoying this concealer so much and I think like yeah Maybelline is very well known for like their um mascaras I would say is what I really you know gravitate towards from their line but I really like this concealer and if you guys watch YouTube as much as I do, you know that there's so many big beauty gurus that still like that concealer and it's like in everyone's drugstore recommendation. So I thought, why not? So yeah, like that a whole, whole lot. And usually my next step in makeup is to do my under eyes. So for my powder, I actually chose this guy, which I think a lot of people would say Charlotte Tilbury, again, is well known for her Pillow Talk like lipstick, but I think the Airbrush Flawless Finish powder is what they're known for because every model, every YouTuber, like bigger YouTuber loves to use this to set their makeup, and I do too. So I thought, hey, this would be the great time to show you guys this product. It's so good, it's so lightweight. Oh, and I also got the Real Techniques powder sponge, so I was using this to do my makeup the other day. I don't, it kind of has that velvety finish. So yeah, it's nice, but yeah, I really, really like this powder. This is my first one from them, and I bought it because Dizzy Perkins recommended this, and I really like it. It's lightweight, it doesn't get cakey, my skin still pops through. It like melts into my skin and it gets dewy. Like it's not like the most matte powder, but I like this powder so much and I cannot wait to repurchase that. I'm so happy like I went through one. And then for eyebrows, this is kind of a cliche because honestly, Anastasia can apply to so many parts of my life, including eyeshadow, highlighter. Um, her highlighter with Amorizi is like, one of my favorites, but this combo, this little eyeshadow, like this eyebrow brush, I just bought two more as backups because this brush is so good. And as you guys can see, I've hit pan on, like this is like hardcore pan on my powder. This is their brow powder duo and I've definitely used up one of these before. So I had to pick Anastasia for my Hero Brow product. And honestly, I don't use a lot of like pencils or anything like that. I have pretty thick brows naturally. So all I do is kind of carve out a shape with the powder and I um, fill in like, cause I love having like really thick like statement brows. Also my brows are like in dire need of getting waxed. I just like ran into the mall yesterday because I got paid and the girl that does my brows um, was busy with an appointment so I couldn't get in to have her wax them and I didn't want to like wing it with somebody else so yeah I just um, decided to leave them as is and walk away because there's nothing worse than like trying someone new with your brows like oh I think it's like my old age but like I don't like to try new things when it comes to my brows and stuff and so yeah I'm like I'm not taking any chances because I swear there's one girl that did my brows for quite some time and she would take off so much of my hair and I'm like dude like I just want it to be shaped I don't want you to make my brows like sperm brows because I have a lot of brow hair and I don't want to lose that. I don't like this ColourPop brow gel. I'm just using it because I bought some and 
I'm trying to like use it. Uh, my favorite brow gel is also the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So that's like my favorite one. Um, but for now, I just am using that. But that's not like a hero product or anything like that for me. Anyway, so that is done. And let's do... Let's do eyeliner. So for eyeliner, I picked... Honestly, my favorite like eyeliner is the Pat McGrath eyeliner. This is in the shade Extreme Black. I'm going to show you what I would have picked is my Urban Decay pencils. I love these two. So this is the new one they came out with. It's called Electric Empire. There's a sticker here. I wonder why. And then they did Overload. This is like one of my favorite greens. This came out with the On The Run... What is that big palette they came out with with color? So I'm actually going to use the Pat McGrath because I think black would go better with this eyeshadow look. But just know that I was going to say Urban Decay. Because I don't think Pat McGrath is actually known for her eyeliner. If it was up to me, you guys would know her for her eyeliner because it's honestly that good. So I'm just going to take this Sonia G brush that I used previously. And I'm going to dip into the brown. And there's a little bit of black on here too. I cannot do my eyeshadow, like smoking out my eyeshadow, without making weird mouth faces, gestures. I don't know why. It's so embarrassing. Okay, I'm also going to go into this shade right here. It's like a reflex shade and just throw some of that in the inner corner. This color is so pretty. I wanted to get dramatic with my inner corner. Just gonna pull that in a little bit too. And then I wanna do some more of the green. We are filling the unicorn fantasy, guys. Okay, I better stop before it gets too crazy. So I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so next step is bronzer for me. I usually do bronzer first. And so this is my hero product from NARS. This is NARS Casino. And the reason I chose this, like I said, NARS is known for so many products, so many great products, because they've been around for so long. But this is my hero product because as a tan girl at Sephora, for the longest time, this was the only bronzer that will work with my skin tone. And I feel like that's pretty epic. Considering, I mean, now there's like Anastasia, there's Fenty, Marc Jacobs just came out with a darker shade of his bronzer. But for the longest time, all that would work for me was this NARS Casino. And so I am determined to pan this and use it up, but I love this bronzer. And like, especially now when I'm like really tan for the summer, it's really one that works well for me. And so I'm so happy to be talking about this product. I've tried to mention it in some other videos as well because again it's not a new product to my collection so I don't talk about it as much but it's honestly one of the best products for me. So for blush I decided to go drugstore and I just thought Milani baked blushes. These are a hero product for Milani for sure because everyone raves about them. Luminoso is probably like the one you guys have heard about the most most most. I don't particularly love Luminoso. I don't think it really shows up on my skin tone. My favorite is this one red Vino. Oh my gosh, if you have watched any of my older videos, like I was toting Red Vino like it was my job. And this is such a beautiful like fall blush shade. Let me just swatch it for you. It's like a beautiful Vino red with some gold flecks in it. And it's just so beautiful. It's like a kiss of blush on your face. And for today, I wanted to go a little bit more subtle. So we're gonna use this shade, which is called Berry Amore. Again, it's a beautiful like pinky, I don't know, it's like a pinky light tone with a lot of gold flecks in it. So I love my Real Techniques blush brush. I would say, again, this is a great hero product. Actually, just their brushes alone, I love this blush brush. And I love their, 
um, highlighter brush too is for me like an amazing product. I know people love to talk about their sponge. I'm just going overboard today because like why not, you know? Like I have nowhere to be. Like this is great. So I love that. And then for highlighter, here is the brush I was talking about. And can you guys guess what highlighter I picked? So I did decide to go really, really old school YouTube and pick a Becca highlighter because come on, like if Becca isn't known for highlight, I don't know like what else they're gonna do. Like I think they've tried to do other products other than highlight and I don't think they've gotten very far. Like nobody's like rushing to buy Becca eyeshadows, you know, everyone loves their highlighters. This is the OG Champagne Pop. I know, I know, controversial, controversial stuff these days, but I'm not going to stop using Champagne Pop because of the person whose name used to be attached to it, okay? So <laughs> I just, I went a little subtle. You can definitely build these up. They're so good. Definitely still one of my favorite highlighters. I don't use them enough, of course, because there's so many highlighters on the market. And then usually before I do a mascara, I always use a setting spray. And honestly, this one is one that freaks me out. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Everyone, I feel like, would talk about MAC Fix Plus, which I would typically talk about. That's what I'm using right now as a setting spray is MAC Fix Plus. I also love, I was looking at um, the Urban Decay All Nighter is a good hero product. Everyone loves talking about that. But I just thought, I still remember when Jaclyn Hill, Manny, Jeffree Star would like have two bottles in his hands. And this is like a $60 Mister, I'm, or Mist, I'm pretty sure. I got this one in the Makeup by Mario Masterclass, and honestly, when I spray this on, I feel like, whoa, I feel like I have Pam, like, coming at me, because it's so, like, dewy, so I never use this. Like, did you guys just see the dew level just skyrocket? And so it honestly, like, freaked me out at how dewy it was, and so I never really use it. And now I'm like, Karen, why don't you use it? And I think I will because, wow, I really like the glow. So that is um, the product I chose for a Hero setting spray. I feel like that is undoubtedly one of the most popular um, setting sprays on planet Earth. I just remember it being so, so popular. So for mascara, I am going to show you what I chose, but I'm going to curl my lashes really quick here. And I love Lancome's Monsieur Big. They just did another mascara sale at um, Nordstrom and I picked up a waterproof version of this mascara. I also managed to grab some on sale at Macy's. I never want to be without this mascara. The, I don't know what it is about it. I just love the way it thickens up my lashes. It is a you know buildable formula I just do like two coats and I feel like my lashes just have never looked better than with this mascara so I don't know you know what else to do and uh, they also came out with like a Monsieur Big um, eyeshadow palette but yeah I mean I could say Lancome is also known for their tint Adol foundation but I actually don't like the foundation so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and then I also really love this mascara. This is the MAC Giga Black Mascara. And all the beauty gurus used to rave about this one for their lower lash line back in the day, which is why I picked it up. And I'm like the only one that still probably talks about it, but that's okay. When you find something good, you don't need to you know, look for something else. Like, I miss having, like, go-to products <laughs> just because of, like, there's so much variety in my collection now that it's hard for me to just be like, oh, that's the product I use every day because I'm always switching things up. So, I love the mascara, and I like this look so far. All we're missing are lips. So, for lips... I went into my handbag because I have turned into one of these people that carries around like every freaking lip product I own. So I have to say ColourPop because 
like I would have mentioned their eyeshadows but I love the Pat McGrath quality so I'm gonna give Colourpop the shout out for um, Hero lip product because I think it was like their second product that they launched was you know lipsticks because they had the super shocks first and then the lippy sticks next I don't have any lippy sticks on me look at all this product I want to do a video showing you guys what's in this bag because I think that will be so so fun and I think I'm gonna go in with this ultra blotted lip this is in the shade cypress and then I love to top it with a gloss and I'm actually probably gonna use a Pat McGrath gloss this one this is flesh 4 so these ultra blotted are so fun for the summer they're kind of like a popsicle lip, so they have like a wash of color. They do dry down matte, which I think is really nice. And then I love to top it with a gloss because it gives it that glowy, dewy look. I've been trying their pens that they just came out with, these ones, the Just a Tint. And I think they're okay. My complaint is the scent. It's a very strong, like, passion fruit scent. And so I'm not like a huge fan of that. <laughs> so I would caution you if you are sensitive to smell, you might not end up enjoying that particular product. But yeah, I love the Ultra Blotted lips. I have so many shades from the Ultra Blotted. I have their matte lipsticks. I have their traditional bullet lipsticks. So I think ColourPop definitely shines in the lip category. Plus they're so affordable. Um, which makes me feel really good about recommending them to you guys. So that is it for my hero makeup products. This is the look I came up with. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what some of your hero makeup products are from different brands down in the comments. You guys know I love talking to you guys in my comment section. It's one of my favorite things about YouTube is connecting with my subscribers and YouTube friends. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys.